to me, um, if you worship Apollo, which they did in the Roman Catholic times, um, it's the same thing, basically, as worshiping the devil, Lucifer, um, because that's supposedly the son of Satan that's the Antichrist. So, basically, during Roman times, there was an Apollo there. I'm assuming it's the same one that we have here, but um, the Apollo there was, of course, supposedly Artemis' brother, a god, um, descended from Zeus. Um, but he was, there was a big statue of him, so you know that they worshipped him, and you know that they worshipped Hera, and all these false gods. Um, but I think these these people actually existed as people, um, but they sometimes they went by different names or something. But a lot of times they just come right out and be their own name, you know. Um, but uh, anyway, the worshipping worshiping one of them... Um, you know, named Apollo, you got to know Apollo is Lucifer's, supposedly Lucifer's son or whatever. They had to have known that back then, too. Um, it was just devil worship, and it was openly devil worship. I mean, there was good Roman Catholic kings and whatnot that had these statues made, kings and queens that had different statues made. So, um, you know when they're making it under the guise of Roman Catholicism that it's really Satan worship when they make like a big statue of like Apollo or something. Um, it's clear that they are serving two purposes. One is the purpose of the church and the other is the purpose of Satanism. So it's clear they have, they have both hands in separate places. Um, so they kind of ruined the idea of the Roman Catholic Church for me by doing that. And it's still, it's still being done to this day, so...